a herd of mammoth. And an opportunity too good to be missed. Adversary. <laughs> the leader's cough has blown up the added problem of a fast moving. Luck has changed. And when the rest of the herd has left her, the hunters will move in for the kill. For the last 50 million years, the world has been getting slowly colder. But something else has now helped tip it over the edge. A change in the Earth's orbit is taking it further from the sun. This has brought on an ice age. Conditions for all life become extremely hazardous, even for the mighty mammoths. The early autumn snowfall has concealed a barely frozen pond. This young female has fallen through the ice and is trapped. Such are the bonds between mammoths that the herd do not leave their stranded sister. They stay nearby, distressed but powerless, except to comfort. It could take days for the female to die, and the herd cannot afford to wait. Eventually they are forced to abandon her. They must keep moving to escape the coming Ice Age winter. For the few months of summer, there is little here to suggest that the world is in the middle of an ice age. Water frozen at the poles, that sea levels have fallen dramatically. If it wasn't enough of the North Sea, as it is, it's a magnet for millions of grazing animals during the summer. The biggest grass eaters of them all are the mammoths. <laughs> This program will be following one particular herd in their annual struggle against the elements. Like all mammoth herds, this one is mostly female, since males leave at adolescence. There are five adult females, a ten-year-old male, and smallest of all, a male calf, just six months old. Born in the spring, he has yet to experience how bad a winter can be. The eldest member is the matriarch, she is a veteran of some 40 winters, and it is her experience that ensures the survival of the herd when the going gets tough. Mammoths are just one of many herbivores to enjoy the summer bounty. They are all animals in their own way built for the cold. The mammoths and bison have their characteristic shaggy coats, while so much gain, it is not surprising there are also predators. Humans hunt. These predators specialize in small prey and seldom hunt anything as big and dangerous as the mammoths. Fuel. These most inventive of creatures are capable of making the most of every resource available. Of all the summer visitors, the most numerous are the flies, which are a constant source of irritation for the mammoths. Come the autumn, this plain will become a freezing hellhole, so the mammoths make the most of the summer while they can. They eat up to 180 kilograms of grass a day, while the males mate with as many females as possible.
mammoths are still on the northern plains. These creatures evolved from hairless elephants in Africa, but have become living fortresses against the cold. Under their skin, they have a layer of fat 10 centimeters thick for insulation. Also, they have small ears and short tails to prevent them losing too much heat. On top, they have their characteristic carpet of hair, which has now grown to a meter in length as their bodies respond to the drop in temperatures. As the weeks pass, the true savagery of the climate begins to bite. Soon the mammoths too will go, with little grass available and no protection from a wind chill that will average minus 50 degrees centigrade, even they have to move south. This ice age is in fact only one of many. Two and a half million years ago, the Earth's climate started on... The matriarch decides it is time to head off towards the less exposed valleys of the Alps. It's a 400 kilometer journey that they are driven to every year. through their journey and the mammoths are progressing well but for one member of the herd it is a constant struggle the youngest this is his first winter many yearlings never see their second extensive cave networks make perfect winter retreats the matriarch keeps a wary eye on them and the humans know better than to get too close days pass and the calf is starting to get into trouble. He is having real difficulty keeping up. His mother stays with him, but the herd cannot wait and the pair are starting to fall behind. On this snowscape, a lion might seem out of place. Defended by a full-grown adult, the baby is relatively safe, but the lion continues to stalk, hoping for the mother's guard to slip. The pair have now completely lost the herd. Across the landscape, other mammoths are making the same journey. This is an adult male, and he travels alone. There are lions in his way, feasting on a straggler, in this case not a mammoth calf, but a human. The lions will have to let him pass. Nothing gets in the way of a mammoth migrating. Mammoths are sociable animals, and as the forests around them become denser, so the small herds start to join up. Soon hundreds of mammoths are winding their way through the wintry lowlands of Europe.
As the mammoths near the Alsace region, the terrain changes dramatically. Flat plains give way to hills and valleys. It is here that lives another species of human, the Neanderthals. Having travelled almost 400 kilometres in two weeks, the herd at last arrives at the foothills of the Alps. Here, in the sheltered forests and valleys, they will spend their winter. Here there is protection from the wind, as well as food. Thanks to their highly dexterous trunks, these grassland animals can sustain themselves on trees, like these spruce, when their usual food is buried under thick snow. A week later, and the matriarch hears a familiar call. The calf and his mother have at last caught up with the rest of the herd. Touching each other with their trunks, members of the herd renew their bonds with the pair. The most hazardous part of the winter is over, and the calf has survived. The mammoths too have already shed their long winter coats to leave a lighter under wool only a few centimeters long. The calf has come through the winter in good health, and now he has been weaned, spends more time away from his mother. He is also no longer the youngest. The herd's latest member arrived just a few weeks ago. It's a little female. But while winter may be over here, the northern plains are still defrosting, and so the herd will spend a couple of weeks in the valleys yet. It gives the newest arrival a bit more time to get some strength in her legs before the journey back north. There is a downside to all this warmer weather. Insects are becoming a problem again. But where there's mud, there's a way. A good shower of mud can help prevent the insects biting. Or maybe mammoths just do this for the fun of it. Autumn in reverse, the great mammoth caravans form once more as it's time to head north. Soon the mountains are behind them, but they are coming into dangerous territory. 
The Neanderthals are waiting. For them, the mammoths coming north is one of the most important times of the year. They are about to risk life and limb at dusk, when the cliff will become less visible, and they can make effective use of their secret weapon. The Neanderthals descend to the bottom of the cliff to butcher their kills. One of the mammoths is still alive. Neanderthals are supreme hunters, which is why they have lasted over 260,000 years. But they have a weakness. They do not adapt well to change. As a result of the harsher climate and the arrival of other humans, Neanderthals are fast disappearing. In another 2,000 years, they'll be gone altogether. The herd eventually arrive back on the northern plains. Fortunately, both of the youngsters have survived the journey. The herd has nonetheless suffered a major loss. The matriarch is missing, killed when the Neanderthals attacked. It is now her sister that leads the herd into the future. Mammoths will last another 24,000 years. They are superbly adapted for this cold world. But when it gets warm again, the grassy plains they depend on will disappear.